Hello everybody, this is Reza Dorani, Microsoft Business Applications MVP. Today we are going to look at keyboard shortcuts for Canvas apps. So first we will look at shortcuts related to the file menu right here. So in order for you to open the file menu, the shortcut key is Alt F. Alt and F will open the file menu for you. Once you open the file menu, the standard tab, shift tab actions work. If you hit escape, this will take you back out. The next thing that we typically use on the file menu is saving. So if you do control and S, this will go ahead and trigger a save of your Power App. So if you need to save your Power App, control S. There is auto save that triggers every two minutes once you save your app for the first time. But if you need to immediately save your app, just do control and S. If you need to download the MS app file for your app, just go ahead and trigger the F12 key. That's it. This will download a copy of your MS app file that you can export to different environments or different tenants. If you need to save your app and rename it, Control Shift S. This will take you to the save as screen. So these were a few shortcuts related to the file menu. Now let's look at some options in the ribbon. If you go and try Alt I, this will take you to the insert tab. Alt and I will take you directly to the insert tab. Now once I am on the ribbon control, if I hit the tab control, this will move ahead. Of course, if I do shift and tab, this will move back. If I hit enter, this will open. And if I hit enter again, it will go ahead and add that control to my screen. So you can do, uh, you can navigate between the options on the ribbon menu. So Alt and F is to open the file menu. Alt and I is to open the insert menu on the ribbon. For the home view and action, there are no shortcuts available currently. Now let's look at some options or shortcuts regarding editing. So in a Canvas app, so once I'm on a screen, Control and A is just gonna go ahead and select all the controls on my screen. If I need to individually select the controls, I can just go and click on the control. If I need to multi-select controls, hold the control key and start selecting multiple controls. Now, when I have these controls selected, all my standard cut, copy, paste, undo, redo actions work. So control C, control V. This will give me another set of the same controls that I can leverage. Control Z is going to undo. If I pick a button, control X is going to cut it out. Control Z is going to paste it back again. So all these options work. Also on the canvas control, if I want to zoom in and zoom out, the normal actions are we go at the bottom and we start clicking here. But if I select my screen or if I'm in the context of my screen and if I do control minus or control plus, I can zoom out and zoom in. Minus is to zoom out, plus is to zoom in. Now many a times when you, know, you resize your browser window or you open certain options on the tree view, your canvas does not fit to the page and you have to do zoom in and zoom out. In order for you to directly fit this to page, the shortcut is control zero. So if you do control and zero, it will automatically go and resize to the best fit. So think about this. I open this right now. You see it's not fitting correctly. Control zero just sits. Okay. So the shortcut is control and zero for fitting the canvas to the page. So the next shortcut tip that I want to talk about is breaking a line in formulas. So if I select a button, in this case, I have the, I have a button selected. If you, and if you look at the on select property, now, of course, this, I can go ahead and format this, or I can remove the formatting. Many a times when you're writing formulas, you don't format ASAP. You want to complete the formula and then format. And many a times you want to take your formula to the next line and the enter key does not work. So in order for you to take the formula to the next line or break a line in a formula, basically go ahead and do shift plus enter. So shift and enter, these two keys together will actually go ahead and add a break in the formula. All right, back to my canvas. I need to fit this to page, so control zero. Once again, I'm using the shortcut key. 
If you need to preview your app, the shortcut key for this is F5. So if you hit the F5 key, this will open the app in preview mode. Or if you want to come out of preview mode, hit the escape key. Now, alternatively, if you need to preview the app without even going into preview mode while you are in design mode, if you hold, hold the alt key, you need to hold the alt key at all times while you're doing this, I can actually go ahead and play the app as if I am in the preview mode. So it behaves exactly the same way. Okay, you need to hold the alt key. Some other shortcuts that I want to talk about related to the canvas, of course, when I've selected control, so if I've selected multiple controls, right, if I need to move them together, if I hit the right arrow key, they will move to the right, left will move left, up and down. Now, if you need to go ahead and resize them, if you hold the, uh, the shift key and go right, you see, it increases the width, left decreases the width for all the controls. If I hit the up arrow key, it's gonna increase the height. Down arrow key will decrease the height. Now, if I need to just increase the height width, right, or if I need to uh, increase or decrease the height width slightly, what I can do is shift and up increases, shift and down decreases. But if I do control shift, control shift and up, you see it just increases it slightly, right? Incle increases the width, left decreases, down decreases the height. So you can even increase, decrease slightly and you can actually see it live as that happens. If you go to the tree view, right? Now let's look at some shortcuts related to the tree view. If you need to rename a control, if you hit the F2 key, you can rename a control. Escape obviously will cancel renaming the control. If you need to group control, so if I select multiple controls by holding the control key and selecting multiple controls, if, I, if you need to group them, the shortcut for grouping is control G. This will go ahead and group all the controls. You see it created a group, then I have all my controls. At the same time, if I hit control G again, it will actually go ahead and trigger ungrouping the controls. So grouping and, un and ungrouping, Control G. The next scenario that I want to cover for that, I need to go ahead and add a shape. So I'm going to go ahead and add a rectangle shape onto my screen. And here's a control that's just a simple shape. I'm just going to place it right here. Now, if I right click on this, of course, I get properties related to that control that I can change. So let's say I give this a gray background. Now, the buttons are hiding behind this control. So if you need to take this control and push it to the back, okay? So if you need to push this to the back, control shift, and then the, op the opening square bracket key, okay? The moment you do that, it will send this control to the back. If you need to bring it to the front, control shift, and this time the closing square brackets key. So this way is I can take a control to the back or bring it forward, okay? We looked at resizing, of course, before. Now the same functions work here. So if I do Control Shift Right, this will increase the width slightly. Up will increase the height of the control. Down will decrease the height of the control. You can see how that rectangle control is increasing or decreasing as I am clicking these different options on my keyboard. We're gonna look at some text formatting short shortcuts. So if you select a control or multiple controls, and if you do control B, this will cycle through different levels of bold. Control I will turn on italic, and then control U will obviously place an underline. Of course, if you want to undo it, just do control U again, it will remove the underline option. And finally, one more shortcut that I would like to uh, talk about is many a times we want to look at documentation related to Power Apps. I need to go to docs.microsoft.com and look at uh, a, a particular formula or so and so forth. If you want to open the documentation related to Power Apps, the shortcut for that is the F1 key. The F1 key will directly open docs.microsoft.com and take me directly to the documentation related to Power Apps where I can get started with. So for example, if I want to look at what is Power Apps? 
I can just go here and read all about it. If I need some help with regarding creating Canvas apps, there's a lot of samples, a lot of documentation that you can leverage. So these were some of the shortcut keys or the hot keys that I regularly use. So let me know what you guys think about it in the comments and do subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching. See you next time.